Hey guys, what's up? So today we are going to discuss files in Django and how they work, where they are stored and things like that. And also uh, you can remember if you watched my previous videos that we already discussed how to upload uh, files through form to Django. If you haven't seen this video, uh, you can check it out. I will leave the link in the description. But for now, uh, in this lesson, we are going to talk more about basics of file storage in Django. And uh, yeah, I think we can start. So let's start with working with individual files. So I opened my shell here. Let's import file from Django core files, the file object. And now, for example, uh, if you don't know how to work with uh, Python files, then uh, I'll show you. You can open the Python file like that. Uh, so I don't have this file yet. So uh, Python will create this file uh, for me. And as you can see, we got this file here. And uh, now we can actually, using this file, this Python file, we can actually transfer this one to Django. So now Django file, file, Python file. And that's it. Now we have this Django file. Um, we can also write something there. For example, let's write hello. Uh, for now, we will not see any changes here because our file is still opened. And uh, we can also say hello to here. But uh, if you want to actually ch uh, save the changes, we need to close this file. And now you can see that we wrote here hello and hello to. So yeah, um, this is kind of how you work with Django files. But of course, uh, and uh, you might need that. But I think uh, mostly you will need files to just store them in your models. So I have here my uh, student model and I added this field, diploma field, which is file field. And now let's uh, try, for example, to import student and create student. And if you want to actually um, save some file into the diploma, we should do it like that, s diploma save. Then we should write the name for the file, like um, s diploma text. And then it's uh, it can be a little bit confusing, but in order to actually save uh, the file here, we can't just use uh, this object. Um, we need to actually open um, the open the Python file and convert it to a Django file right here in this line. So we do that uh, file, right, and then we actually open diploma text read and I have one more thing here and as you can see now we save this file here with the same content from the original file so yeah um, 
this is kind of how you upload uh, your file to the models again if you want to upload it through uh, ui you can use form for that and i already have a tutorial on that topic so you can actually check it out if you want but let's continue with this video so one more thing that you can um, that you can set up here is the place where you upload files for example you can say that you want to upload these diploma files to diploma folder and now let's uh, actually exit and make migrations migrate open shell uh, let's import that stuff that stuff create new student and now if we actually want to save this uh, file here you can see that this file was saved into diploma folder because that's uh, how we set up our settings for this file field and you can also access uh, this file like that you can see its path and uh, yeah so how does how does it all work actually like uh, how the inner functionality works and uh, to answer that we can import these two classes um, content file and default storage and basically uh, Django has a storage system and you can actually write your own storage but we will not go through that in this tutorial uh, maybe later I will discuss that because in this video we are going through the basics and uh, basically by default uh, Django uses this default storage And we can actually use this uh, object in order to manipulate files. So for example, we can define this path, default storage, save, diploma, default storage. And we can, actu uh, we can actually write the content to this file that will be saved pretty soon like that hello and this is our file that we have just created using this uh, default storage object the default storage that Django uses by default and we can we can actually use this default storage object in order to open the path and read the content of the file and we can even uh, delete the file like that. Django uses this default forage, uh, default storage in order to manipulate files. If you are interested, you can, of course, find uh, the source code of this object, but again, we will not go through that today. And one more thing that I want to show you is you, you can actually um, kind of uh, not really write your own file, st file system storage but you can customize it a little bit for example in models let's import uh, this file storage file system storage and let's customize it customize it a little bit and define that location of the files should be in diplomas and uh, yeah and now we can actually specify it here storage equals fs let's migrate now make migrations migrate shell let's import everything that we need and now 
let's create the student and let's try to save this file into the student student diploma uh, model and now as we defined this new storage that we use for this uh, field the files will be saved to diplomas location and as you can see it created new directory and we saved the file here so today a little bit short lesson i want to show you the basics of files and i hope i did it successfully and i hope this lesson was useful and as usual i will ask you to please support my channel by subscribing uh, giving me likes and posting comments it really uh, helps me to grow my audience and it shows me that my videos are worth making so uh, so that's it goodbye and see ya